Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Now, one of my absolutely most requested video ever is Scooby String Tutorials. So, these are what they look like. You can do circle ones, like square ones, which is the one I'm going to show you today. You can have them as bookmarks, you can attach key rings there and, you know, put your keys on it, obviously. You can tie them up and have them as bracelets. Um, you can do all sorts with them and you can make them into all sorts of different shapes and colours and things like that so I'm going to show you how we do that. So, first of all you need some strings. I've got loads and they are all in an absolute state. So what you need is four strings. Um, now whether that is four strings via twos folded in half if that makes sense or that's four actual strings. If you use four actual strings, obviously it's going to be loads longer because that's how much you've got to do. But for this video, because I want to make it a bit shorter, I'm going to use two. So I'm going to start by getting the ends exactly the same. Come bring it right down to the bottom and then fold it in half like that. So the loopy end, which is the other side, just literally fold it in half and then poke it through to just to tie a knot that is all you're doing oh, and then pull it really tight so there is your top knot to start with so I'll show you that again hit the loop with my hands just by folding it I'm gonna fold it like that on itself and then poke the loops through the gap and pull okay hopefully you're all good at this point thumbs it up if you're still with me so then what you need to do is if you hold the knot facing down you've got your four strings now I'm separated them to the two purples so they're opposite each other and the two pinks so they're opposite each other so first of all I'm going to take this purple bring it over to the other side where the other purple is so bring purple A over to purple B and I've got it just in that knot like that again. I'm just holding it with my finger. Then I'm going to bring purple B into purple A's zone. And with my forefinger, I'm going to hold that in place there. Then pink A, I'm going, the one that's closest to the first loop, you always go over it and under the other one. So over and under that one. And then the other pink, it's closest to this purple knot. So it's going to go over that and in that one. Ooh. And then all you do is take all four of your strings and pull it. Can you see how the square part is coming? It's a coming. There we go. So pull it, keep pulling it really tight. The first one's always quite a hard one to do. So hopefully if this focuses. don't think it's gonna do you've got your square so then you go again right so again purple over to the other purple bit purple B over into purple A's using your thumb and your uh, index finger to hold them in place take the pink over and through the furthest away one the other side pink go over the closest one and through the hole of the furthest away one and then take your four strings I realize it is quite hard to see but I'm hoping with my instructions that you will get you are getting it and then just keep pulling it tight and you know if it looks like a square you have got it right so pink or oh, can do pink over it don't matter which order you do it in pink over no, I'll stick with purple. Strike that. I'll stick with what I just did for you. Purple over. Purple over. Pink. Over the one that it's closest to through the other side one. Other pink. Over the one it's closest to through the other one. Give it a pull. Take four strings and give it a pull one more time then before I do some myself off camera and then I'll show you purple A over into purple B section 
purple B over into purple A section. Pink A over under and out. Pink B over under and out and pull. You see how it's looking like a square already? That means when you know you're tightening it, you know you're going to have got it right. Pull it, pull it, pull it. There we go. And then, before you know it, you're starting to get your square part. There are my sides. And the more you do do it as well, the more the wires themselves know where they're supposed to go. If you see there, look, they're just exactly where they're supposed to be. Purple's opposite each other and pinks are opposite each other. So last time, purple A over to purple B. Purple B over to purple A. I'm using my forefinger and my thumb to hold them into position. Pink A over and under. Pink B. Ooh, dropping it. Come over this one and go under the one that's it's furthest away from. Already I can see the square. Pull it. And there we go. Over, over, through, through. And once you've done it, you can do it really quickly and you're away with it really. And that's literally how you do it. So then once you get to the end, you knot it off again and you can tie it into the bracelet or leave it as a key ring, a bookmark, add some beads to it as you go, whatever you fancy really. And that is how you do your scooby strings. So after all this, these requests, I'm glad that I finally managed to do it for you. Give the video a thumbs up if it has helped you and you've managed to do your scuba strings now. Or tweet me a picture of your scuba string that you've managed to complete because of watching this video. Um, and I think that is it. Leave any more suggestions that you want me to do for videos in the comments below. And I will happily look through them and do any ones that you know I think I am able to do. And in the meantime, I'm going to sit now and do my Scooby. So thanks for watching. Goodbye. So it turns out I've just ended up sitting here and I've done it. And if you stretch it, you can see it quite well. It goes all holy, but I finished it. And all I did was when I thought, you know it's at the point now where I won't be able to go much further without being able to put a knot in it I stopped popped a knot in it you can chop them bits off if you want you can tie them together and as I said before if you use four strings you're obviously going to get a much longer scooby but there it is done and dusted and you can just do anything with it even your school planners pop it at the top and it's just a little accessory on there for you so there we have it my scoop is string now i've got the fun thing of trying to put all of these in this box that my friends is not going to be very fun so i will do this now and i'll see you next time see ya